guys, it's me. Maybe you've noticed I'm slowly building my background. Y'all see that shelf? I put that together today with a drill and everything. You know the desk in my old room? I literally like screwed a couple of the pieces together and was like, okay, you know what? That's that's fine. It's not going anywhere. Like you push that bad boy two inches, I guarantee you the whole thing will fall apart. But this one? Mm. Mm. Y'all see that sturdy as a rock. Speaking of things not being put together well, no, we're not gonna be talking about my life. Bathrooms. Ew! This has gotta be a troll. No way. So what do you want your countertop to look like? I want it to look genuine, raw. Like someone took what they did in the bathroom and smeared it all over the counter. Yeah, that's what I want. Let me get that. And they got exactly what they want. Ew, I wouldn't even wash my hands in the sink. I'd be like, yeah, no. <laughs> we go in the old fashioned way. It looks so filthy. Why? Why would you do this? Y'all could have just done plain white. You know, that would have cost less too. It's like you're trying to make people mad. I mean, if less people use it, you save it on your water bill. <laughs> if you that cheap, it might work. Ew, who made this faucet? Ugh. The water literally goes through all the germs on the faucet. And it's not even the ones where you can like turn it. Ugh. This is making me agitated. I'm surprised nobody's got like fed up with this and just kicked it off the thing. What is this supposed to be for? I feel like they just like assembled it incorrectly. It's pouring water on itself. In America, the faucet cleans you. In Russia, the faucet cleans itself. <laughs> Communism. Faucet edition. Hey man, why you got a hole in your bathroom door? Open it and you'll find out. Oh! <laughs> The toilet was put in such an awkward place that you literally couldn't even open the door. This household was sick and tired of that one and we're just gonna take a chunk out of the door. But what happens if you close it? You could literally look through and see the person on the toilet. You could even stick your arm in and touch them. Tickle their leg. How was this not calculated when you made the house? You know, maybe we should make the door open up the other way. Put the toilet somewhere else. Nah, you know what? Let them deal with it and that's exactly what they did oh no who did this who put an electrical outlet in the sink the more bougie version of toaster bathtub we gonna do blender sink i just have no words for this no words i want to know what the person was thinking who did this like oh we have an outlet here oh but we're putting a sink here which came first the sink or the outlet also if you guys didn't know there's this really weird law where in your kitchen you have to have a certain amount of like electrical outlets and they have to be a certain distance apart. This is just a fail. What happens when it gets wet? I don't know. What happens? Don't try it. Don't. If you're really that curious, Google it. Oh man, I'll do it for you. Okay, if you touch a wet electrical outlet, it can give you a shock. If you try to put a plug in it, it will cause a short circuit, which can start a fire. So yeah, don't do that. Or I will spit on you. So you walk into a public bathroom. It's usually there's a bunch of stalls or it's like a one toilet bathroom. No, not this place. We got a two toilet bathroom. What? So you and your homie can drop deuces at the same time, wait, while looking at each other in the eye. Nothing says friendship like this bathroom. I love how the trash can is so high tech. It's like those sensor ones where you just hover your hand over it and it opens and then you got this. Y'all couldn't even put something like in between them? No. We're gonna have a staying contest and a dumping contest at the same time. I feel like girls are actually much more likely to use this. I can tell you once I was in a bathroom with several girls and there was only one toilet. Most of the girls had no problem just going to the bathroom in front of everybody. I was like, yeah, okay, no, thanks. I'm, I'm, I don't really have to go. Not that bad. Mm, nothing gets me in the bathroom mood like this poster right here. Crew members make fresh batches of smooth and creamy ice cream in this store. I love how it's just brown. Nice. Yeah, look at that look on her face. She knows exactly what she's doing. Who the heck thought glass bathroom stalls would be a good idea. Okay, I've been to somebody's house and they had those, but that's somebody's house. And also at a hotel. But as a public bathroom, you could still see through frosted glass. You could see if they're doing anything besides going to the bathroom. You could see the skin color of their thighs. That's a very personal thing that I wouldn't want other people seeing, okay? Oh man, you could even see that he's looking at you. Y'all see his face? You know, if you stare at them, they can't stare at you back. That's the rule. This one's not a bathroom fail, but oh my god. So this is a business card fail. If you were in a car, would you know what accident to do? Yes. Yes, sir. I would know.
know exactly what accident to do. The one where you destroy the other car and the human in it. I personally like rear ending. You know, every time I get in my car, I think about what accident to do. Especially like the ones that cause a five star chase. That's a good time. Oh no, y'all thought that other bathroom was bad. This one has three toilets right next to each other. You can't even like man spread on them or anything. And two urinals. How do you even stand on that corner urinal? You gotta stand on the toilet. I wonder if some guy, like only guys can do this, like sit on one of the toilets and do both at the same time. <laughs> That's a dangerous game. Defecation for the whole family. Now at the same time. So they were building a bathroom for disabled people. And I looked at it like, hmm, what could we do to spice this up? Add some decor. You know what? I got it. Riding a bike, skateboard, surfing. You know, all the things y'all can't do. Y'all really did that? Oh no, somebody called Twitter. <laughs> Very offend. Much controversy. Hey, so I'm looking for a new countertop. What kind of designs you got? We got granite, marble. Recycled glass, quartz. Oh, one with a really cool squiggly line going through it. Yes, that one. Eh. Not quite what I was expecting. What does it look like? Comment below. You walk into your friend's bathroom, you see the toilet just smack dab in the center. You could have put it on the back wall. I would even take it out the sink. Like, y'all don't need a sink if you have a bathtub. But what is this? Why is the toilet literally. Why? It's just such horrible placement. Just throw the whole bathroom away. Throw a grenade in there. Close the door. Over. Do your family a favor. <laughs> you know, let's put a window on the door to the bathroom when the architect just got out of jail. Like, now everybody's gonna know how I felt. Okay, again, another bathroom I don't understand. And it's like, it's so nice with all the tile and the wood floor. You would think they would have enough budget to like put a door or a stall or something around that one toilet. Or in some places, some people just walk into a bathroom, they're like, oh, a toilet. You know what? I don't care if anybody like walks in and sees me doing my business. It's like everybody else does it too. It's like drinking water. I don't want anyone to see me drinking water. But everybody does it. So it's like I guess some people just don't care. Even the urinals have something to like separate them. So nobody like takes a peek. I don't know. I'm not a boy. I don't know how it works. Like imagine you walking into the bathroom and some dude is just sitting there on his throne. What about the smell? Boys are stinky. What if he just had Taco Bell? We have ads on top of every urinal for thinking of becoming a mom. No. Literally no one. Only guys can use this. How they gonna be a mom? What you mean? thinking of becoming a mom. It's 2019, we can be whatever we want to be. I think we've all been to a bathroom that doesn't have mirrors, but instead of mirrors, they're just gonna do paper towel dispensers? Why are there so many? Y'all want the paper towel lottery? Buy two, get three free? There's three sinks and five paper towel dispensers. I mean, I'm not complaining because I like those, but also y'all couldn't get one mirror? No? See, a lot of these are just like peculiar. You just think, why? It's confusing. So we like redid my bathroom, made it all cute and pink. Only downside. You gotta sit on the toilet like this. Just really bust it open. You know, that's how you're so. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's optimal pooping position is with your legs up. So this household, I feel like they got it all figured out. We got less leg room than a Toyota Prius. But you know what? At least it's pink and cute. That's all that matters. So in a bar in Italy, there is a bathroom mirror that looks like this. Don't worry, it'll look normal when you're drunk. Oh, is that a water fountain? Why does it look like it's connected to those urinals? Oh, that's the fail. Everything you put in those urinals comes out that water fountain. Who's drinking from that? Comment below. It's like liquid Russian roulette. You know, nothing gets you in the bathroom mood like a bunch of people reaching for you. Y'all trying to take my toilet paper? Back off. Why? And they're making eye contact. Ain't nobody trying to make eye contact with anybody on the toilet. You know, dogs actually do that when they go to the bathroom. They'll stare at you. You know why? Because they want you to protect them. They're like, hey, I'm immobile right now. Very vulnerable. Human, please 
please protect me. Oh, finally, a bathroom with some stalls. Oh, wait. Literally, what's the point? So they can't see your face, but they can see everything else? That would be very interesting. You just walk into this bathroom? Oh, hello, and goodbye. That's very, very, very weird. As long as you don't see my face. You know, in New York, this is what $1,000 a month gets you. You get an all-in-one shower, kitchen, toilet, all in the same vicinity. So you could pour your Cheerios, do your morning poop, and then hop in the shower, all within two steps of each other. Nice. Oh, somebody's knocking at my door. I wonder who it is. Let me just look through my peephole. <laughs> See, I've seen frosted glass doors, but just straight up regular glass. Everybody can see everything in. Wait, why am I talking? Mine's literally like that. Oh no. At least mine has integrity. I don't even have a peephole. It's see-through and proud. This hotel's like, yeah, we got vents in the shower. Literally nailed a vent cover on the tile to make it look like a vent. Wow, genius. Scammer level free gift card. Oh my God, I actually have stayed at this hotel where the toilet paper is literally on the sink and then the toilet is right there. Let me grow my arm five more feet. This toilet is for Elastigirl and Elastigirl only. How are you supposed to reach it? You know, my bathroom is kind of like that. It's like in an awkward place. It's like literally, this is the toilet where I'm sitting and then this right here is the toilet paper. It's in such an awkward position. I feel like when they're building things, they don't think about that. They're just like, yeah, just put it anywhere. I literally I really don't care. It's not my house, not my toilet. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, would you use any of these if somebody offered you $10,000? And make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.